Family channels are supposed to be a safe space, giving some of us the dream life we didn't get to experience growing up. And for others, inspiring life goals to create our own happy family. But when social media offers a big payout, what you see on camera may not be honest and can even be harmful for young viewers. One family has their audience hooked with unrealistic and dangerous pranks and challenges. Yes, but we have to push him to the deep end. I can't swear. Family members are constantly in harm's way. You don't do that. What I do? It was a prank. You don't play like that. Cheating is a recurring topic. He is really talking to this girl. I do like, I'm not right here. How does this family have nearly 9 million followers? Are the viewers aware their content isn't what it seems? Let's dive deep into the life of the Prince family. From the outside, the Prince family might seem like your average family. Two loving parents and four beautiful kids. What you wouldn't know is this family started from humble beginnings and grew a social media empire with over 8.6 million subs on YouTube. The pair's love story started when they met while working at a Little Caesars. In 2014, they decided they needed change in their lives. Damien was still working at Little Caesars and Bianca was pregnant and working two jobs. They were overworked and worked paycheck to paycheck. With a child on the way, they decided they wanted a better life for themselves, so they turned to YouTube. At first, Damien started a gaming channel, but it didn't seem to go well. In 2016, they opened their family YouTube channel. Say what's good. It's not recording. Oh, it is recording. They record the whole time. My new camera, ladies and gentlemen. Damien started to track the trends on YouTube and was able to bring in tons of views. Their videos range from trending challenges to unboxings. The family now amasses up to 100 million views a month. They have four children, DJ, Kyrie, Nova, and Isla. Their family of four seemed to be happy together, but some were concerned with the family's big life decisions at such a young age. Damien was born in 1992, and Bianca was born in 1997. The age gap isn't the issue as they are both consenting adults. However, DJ was conceived in 2014 when Bianca was 17 and Damien was 22. This may be shocking to some people who live in a place where the age of consent is 18 years old. But in some other states, the law protects young couples like Bianca and Damien. According to Indiana state law, where the couple is from, the age of consent is 16 years old, meaning their intimate moment was legal. This is just the tip of the iceberg. The real concern comes from their YouTube videos, which mainly consist of pranks or sketches. Bro. Turn that way. No. Look that way. No, dude, it's not even funny. You know what? I'm about to destroy every I'm about to destroy all your shoes and everything. You gonna do this to my J's though? Pranks can be fun. But the Prince family often takes things too far, which isn't great for their young audience. Many of their pranks are staged. Hell no! He got the shot! He got the shot! He got the shot! But this isn't clear to their audience as they often put themselves in situations that could be confusing for children to understand. For example, they did a lie detector test that focused on their fidelity and ex-partners. Do you miss your ex? Hell to the no, no, no! No. You can't. What do you mean? I don't. Their lie detector tested whether they were lying using voice analysis technology. But the lie detector isn't scientifically based, so it's likely these were inaccurate readings. Go would, you, ahead. would you ever cheat on me if you knew I would never find out? No. No, this no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The questions didn't stop there. Did you ever go through my phone when I wasn't around? Were your ex-girlfriends better in bed than me? Questions that aren't appropriate for their young audience. Aside from pranks, they also do challenges like the pause challenge. In a seemingly childish game called the pause challenge, you have to stop doing whatever you're doing when the other person yells pause. It can be funny when the pauses lead to awkward situations. Pause. Pause! Babe, I just died! 
Don't pause me! I got the high score! But other times, it can be dangerous. Fire hazards are not something a family should promote to children. Look, it's, it's smoking! smoking. It's okay, been... unpause! It was going for 30 minutes! Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> that stuff stinks! What's wrong with you? <sighs> it's brown smoke! Things took a turn for the worse when they took the challenge to a busy street. Bianca was at an intersection and tried to drive, but Damien paused her. Pause. Pause up the light. The light. People can be heard beeping behind them. I hate you. Pause. Oh, they're honking. While the other events can be easily staged, this scene appears to be real. In any case, disobeying traffic laws is extremely dangerous and harmful to their young audience. While the pause challenge may be a childish and dangerous game, Two Dots is quite the opposite, a safe, relaxing game to exercise your brain. We'd like to thank our sponsor for today's video, Two Dots. Two Dots is a puzzle game with beautiful, minimalistic design and relaxing music to comfort you while you play. Challenge your mind by connecting dots to their corresponding color and find ways to create squares for the ultimate move. As you progress to higher levels, new obstacles will be introduced, keeping the game interesting at all times. What we love about Two Dots is how often the game is updated, making it full of fun surprises. There are weekly events like a scavenger hunt where you have to find items on a map. Look out for Where's Wally and a treasure hunt that has seven special levels with unique rewards. It's the perfect game to accompany you on your breaks as you can play at your own pace and comfort of your own device. Two Dots is loved by many, over 115 million downloads globally to be more exact. Please download from the link in the description for fun and relaxing brain exercises. Now back to the story. Another example of a staged prank they did was their swimming pool prank. They put a sleeping Damien on an air mattress in their pool, so he would wake up surprised. This appeared to be staged as it's unlikely to be able to move someone on a floating bed without waking them. Bianca took it one step further by pushing the floating bed in the deep end because she knew about a weakness he had. But we have to push him in the deep end. Oh my God. You know your son can't swim, so. Once he was in the pool, they began to spray him with water guns and Damien woke up and fell into the water. Why are you recording me? Cuz, good morning. <laughs> Damien, Damien. <laughs> Whether Damien actually knows how to swim or not, it still could have been dangerous for Damien to wake up disoriented in the middle of the pool's deep end. All of these pranks and challenges seem inappropriate and dangerous for a child to emulate. In fact, YouTube has something to say about this kind of content. In 2019, YouTube introduced new guidelines for the challenges and pranks to protect kids from videos that could harm them. We also don't allow pranks that cause children to experience severe emotional distress, meaning something so bad that it could leave the child traumatized for life. We've worked directly with child psychologists to develop guidelines around the types of pranks that cross this line. Examples include the fake death of a parent, severe abandonment, or shaming for mistakes. Despite YouTube trying to crack down on dangerous pranks, Bianca and Damien still continue to create inappropriate content. One example is from June 2019, when the couple catfished each other and clickbaited that it led to them breaking up. Bianca tested Damien's trust by pretending to be his ex-girlfriend and asking to get back together. Instead of communicating properly about her lack of trust in Damien, she left threatening messages in her YouTube video. I swear to God, Damien, if you're watching this video and you sit here and cheat on me with your ex, there's gonna be some problems between me and you, Shawty. For real, for real. Like, if he does anything that crosses this line is going to be over i'm going to be taking the kids and i will be out show i'm not going to be here anymore as the prank took place she really began to doubt damien's fidelity i don't know why but i really 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 feel like he's about to start talking to this girl after a few messages were exchanged damien began to go along with the flirting saying he doesn't have a wife and bianca forced him to post pictures of her however the text began to get explicit between Damien and Bianca's catfish account. Bianca made a lot of inappropriate comments that should stay between partners. I need some help. You a clown. You wasn't saying that when you was eating this p I guess you wasn't lying. Now what's up with that Bianca began to cry and used the fake profile to tell Damien to meet her at Target. 
She brought her camera and ambushed him in the parking lot while calling him out. You're a liar and you're a cheater and I don't want to be with you no more. So you're talking to Brittany again, right? Nah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> no. Damien eventually admitted that he knew it was Bianca the whole time and was just playing along. A similar situation happened with Damien's prank on Bianca. He catfished her pretending to be her favorite celebrity, rapper Trey Songs. He claimed to be Trey on his backup account and immediately started chatting with Bianca. This prank seemed to be staged as Damien barely put any effort into making the profile look legitimate and he used an old Instagram account that Bianca already followed. The conversations were also explicit. Eyes emoji, eggplant emoji, tongue emoji, wet emoji. What's good then? I'm trying to put a baby in you. Oh wee, this better be you. Getting moist just thinking about you. Like the other video, they met in public, this time in a Marshalls, where Damien chased Bianca down the aisles. Where you, where, where you going? What you doing here? You got caught cheating, bro. Who was you meeting? <laughs> you. No, you wasn't. Yeah. No, you cheating on me shit, bro. Come on, bro. You got, you got my kid out here shit. Oh, you got people out here. It's over, bro. Bianca revealed she knew all along as all of the tagged posts were pictures of Bianca, Damien, and their family. The pair laughed it off and the video ended, but these videos are not okay. There is a lack of trust between both partners as they both believe their partner will cheat without any evidence. However, the biggest problem is the challenge itself. According to Darlene Lancer, a licensed marriage and family therapist, dishonesty can block intimacy in a relationship and cause mental stress and health problems. Furthermore, the young viewers are consuming toxic relationship behaviors that they may mistake as normal. These aren't the only videos that feature the Prince family staging a breakup, either for a challenge or for clickbaiting views. Some videos feature titles that imply Damien has left Bianca or they've split up, but they never do. It's all for clickbait. The breakup or leaving is always minor, usually something like Damien leaving the house for the afternoon. This is horrible for their children to experience over and over again, fearing their family may be broken. Multiple breakups aren't the only disrespectful thing the Prince family has done. Name-calling is also in their book. Damien set up a fake situation where Bianca and him were going to be late for reservations because Bianca took too long doing her makeup. The pair argued in the car over their missed reservation, and Damien ended up calling Bianca the name. You always start stuff. And you always act like a I what? Look at me while I'm talking to you. You know what they say? They say, oh. People always, when they get, when they mad, they anger, like they, they realness come out. While the video ended with them making up and laughing about it. It's a prank. <laughs> offensive name calling is a terrible thing to promote in family videos. Their toxic pranks aren't only between the couple. Other family members are involved too. Damien's dad pranked his family into thinking he was having a heart attack. This video has since been taken down but it featured Damien's dad lying on the floor pretending he had a heart attack. The situation appeared staged because Damien, Bianca, and a friend had strange methods of trying to prevent the heart attack. They used freezer food to cool down his body and Damien refused to give mouth to mouth to his father because while it's very likely staged, this is a cruel prank to pull on your family, as heart attacks and losing family is a reality many people face. Another video that was taken down was a prank where Damien appeared to harm a pregnant Bianca while they had guests over. Damien said he wanted to see how the guests would react. Of course, the guests were appalled by the behavior, and the male guests tried to fight Damien while the women comforted Bianca. In the end, they confessed it was a prank, and even their friends seemed annoyed. DV is never okay to joke about and shouldn't be used as a means of entertainment. On average in the US, nearly 20 people are physically harmed by their partner every minute. One in four women and one in nine men have faced some severe form of DV, resulting in injury, fearfulness, post-traumatic stress disorder, use of victim services, contraction of transmitted diseases, etc. Another video that caused concern was Bianca's scare prank. The age-restricted video made it look like as if Bianca had her life taken. 
In the video, Bianca put fake red syrup all over their bathtub and messed up the house a bit to make it look as if her life had been taken in a robbery. Damien's father saw the situation first, then informed Damien of what he had seen. When Damien showed up, he and his dad investigated the scene. Whose blood is this? I don't know. I didn't go all the way in. I went to the front. Bro, what the? They up everyone They later found Bianca in the bathroom. Everyone was in a panic and Damien got into the tub to hold Bianca and apologize for not being there for her. After a few moments, Bianca sprung to life and announced it was a prank. This is really freaking childish, man. Why would you do that? You got my son crying and stuff. How you feel right now? How, how do y'all feel right now? Baby. Don't, 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 don't touch me. The shocking content doesn't stop there. Many of their thumbnails are suggestive or violent. One thumbnail showed Bianca in a Santa costume and Damien drooling over her, which is inappropriate to share with a young audience. Another thumbnail showed Bianca with her legs spread with green special effects coming out, implying that a fishy smell is coming from between her legs. According to Healthline.com, the smell can come from having a UTI, but other foods and medications can cause it as well. However, in this video, Bianca can be seen rubbing a fish on her arms and clothes to achieve the smell. The couple also tried to get intimate in the video on their family-friendly channel. The video has since been deleted from their channel. Their inappropriate antics continued when they uploaded a video called Spin the Mystery Wheel Challenge, Truth or Dare, One Spin Equals One Dare. The video started off with Bianca giving Damien a hickey. They explained the different pieces of the wheel. The actions range from eating an egg to breaking up. A few pieces on the wheel are more intimate, like hickey and lap dance. At one point, Bianca had to make Damien laugh. She decided to flash her chest to him. It's confusing who the target audience for this video is because of the mix of adult and kid-friendly options on the wheel. Fake breakups, health issues, cheating, and adult content aren't the only things the Prince family have up their sleeve. In 2019, Bianca decided to get a BBL and took this as an opportunity to clickbait Bianca's health. They put up a number of thumbnails featuring Bianca in the hospital, seeming to suggest something life-threatening happened. However, in reality, the videos were visits to the cosmetic surgery clinics. Bianca expressed feelings of regret because she didn't get the results she wanted. I felt like there was no point in me getting the surgery. Like, my results came out, and I was like, I look the same still. And honestly, I can tell a little difference when I look back at my before pictures, and I'm like, okay, I could tell a little bit of difference, but it's not like a major difference how I expected them to be. While there's nothing wrong with having plastic surgery, discussing body image issues has to be done carefully with a young audience. It can be beneficial when it helps people become more confident, but some procedures are very risky. The Brazilian butt lift, also known as the BBL, involves taking fat from another area of the body and putting it in their butt to give their bottoms a more sculpted and full appearance. BBLs also come with a lot of risks, and multiple people have lost their lives from complications of the surgery due to improper technique. Police say a young woman died and they're now charged with murder, and police want to know if there are more victims out there. Injecting fat into the behind is a dangerous process. The problem with inserting fat into the buttock is that your butt contains a lot of very large blood vessels, as big as drinking straws, one doctor put it, which, if accidentally injected with fat, can result in that fat traveling to your lungs and cause a deadly pulmonary embolism. According to an article published in the Aesthetic Surgery Journal, out of 692 surgeons, 3% of the respondents reported a patient passing away. Another 7% of respondents reported their patients having a pulmonary embolisms, but the patients survived. That's not all the Prince family has to offer. Another big concern is how far they will go to clickbait their young audience. One of the most disturbing things they clickbait is the health of their children. They often Photoshop their thumbnails to make the pictures look even worse, like we see here. It's not appropriate to clickbait something related to kids and their health or well-being. As the YouTube guidelines mentioned, this type of content can cause emotional distress for other young viewers who may be worried about the health of the Prince family children. 
They also tried to clickbait the health of their unborn child by making the thumbnail appear like something terrible happened to their child. In reality, Bianca just faked her water breaking. My water broke! Bro, chill. <laughs> What's that? What is it? What do you mean? What is what? <laughs> I don't see nothing. You don't see that? It's magic. You for, you for real? Touch it! <laughs> bro. Bro. <laughs> Your water broke? Say swear to God! For real? Another video clickbaited the health of their unborn child yet again by titling the video, We hope our baby girl is okay after this. In reality, Bianca was just jumping on a small trampoline. One of the bigger controversies they faced was when they clickbaited a pregnancy loss. Bianca had pains in her lower abdomen, and they were worried the baby was going to come early. Bianca said when she had an ultrasound, they couldn't find the heartbeat, but it wasn't as serious as we thought. The reason was simply because, because she moves so much. Okay. Like, the baby keeps moving, and every time the baby moves, the heart rate monitor like goes off. And the pain Bianca was feeling was because of a bladder infection. The baby's health was completely fine, but the thumbnail definitely created a health scare. People are generally against clickbaiting pregnancy loss because real pregnancy loss can be very traumatizing for parents, causing symptoms of guilt, anger, depression, yearning, etc. The grieving process is long and it involves a lot of healing, and it's more common than we think. Around 10 to 15% of pregnancies end in loss, according to the March of Dimes. Aside from clickbaiting their children's well-being, they also clickbait their own health, as seen in this very bad car accident where everyone came out alive and well. The Prince family has definitely had their share of smaller controversies, but they've also had controversies happen on a much larger scale. Colorism, racism, fake adoptions, and intimate relationships between family members are all issues that the Prince family have been exposed for. Let's talk about the colorism incident. In May 2019, Bianca gave birth to their daughter, Nova Grace Prince, and she was quickly introduced through a birth vlog. There were cute moments, and the couple talked about how proud they were to have their baby girl. But everyone was shocked when they talked about their daughter's appearance. Bianca said she was hoping her daughter would have pretty eyes. But I know she's gonna have The darker eyed babies so usually stay dark. Yeah. Yep. Because I had blue eyes when I was born. Sorry. I thought she was gonna have pretty eyes. Bright blue eyes. She do got pretty eyes. They also discussed how Nova might be darker skinned as she grows up. She looks, she's gonna get darker. Yeah, you can, can see. see around her, like her, her face, nails, her yep. Nose. Look at her ear. Yep. You see it? Oh, her ear is dark. I think she might be like DJ, because DJ, he was dark when he was little. Despite the long discussion about Nova's skin color, Bianca said she's okay if Nova's skin is darker. They faced a lot of controversy from the situation because people found it to be colorist especially with the idea that lighter eyes were what they considered to be pretty eyes, and they kept bringing up how dark Nova's skin could become. In an interview with BuzzFeed about the situation, a black woman named Aaliyah Curaton from New York said, That's basically saying her eyes aren't pretty because they aren't light. They spoke about her color quite often, about how dark she was going to be. The eye color comment was disgusting. So was her reaction to the possibility of her baby being her dad's color. Aaliyah noted how much of a problem colorism is in the black community because children are directly or indirectly taught that lighter skin and eyes are more attractive. There are people getting illegal surgery done on their eyes to achieve a lighter look. In the black community, the hate for certain skin colors runs deep. We're told not to stay in the sun too long because we'll get dark. Others had a lot to say about the situation. Let's just imagine for a second how such viewpoints in a family can damage a child's self-esteem and self-image into adulthood as they don't value themselves because they're not lighter, which becomes synonymous with prettier. But y'all say colorism is made up. The baby ain't been in the world for a full 24 hours, and her parents are already colorist towards her. I'm disgusted. I feel so bad for the baby. I could never imagine pushing up my baby for hours and worried about her skin eye color. All I would be worried about is a healthy baby with all limbs and fingers toes. Whether she's dark skin or not, she's still a blessing and that's all that matters. The princess saw the feedback from commenters and people online and released a video titled, Nova Has Colorist Parents. So basically what this situation is, apparently we were saying some colorist things. I guess we're colorist now? Mm -hmm. I guess we're colorist. So that's what we're about to be discussing. Damien said no one should judge a book by its cover, and a lot of people were judging them based on a 30-second clip that went viral online. He said all they cared about was their daughter being healthy, 
and they didn't find it strange to talk about their daughter's appearance as they had done it with all of their other children. They concluded the video by talking about how they only wanted positive vibes going forward, and that one negative thing doesn't counteract all the good things they've done in their lives. However, the drama didn't appear to stop. On June 9, 2019, they uploaded a now-deleted video called Haters Destroyed My Lamborghini. In the video, they showed footage of their new Lamborghini with the word Colorist spray-painted on the side. They checked their security cameras and included footage of someone spray-painting their car. At one point, Bianca touched the paint and it came off, showing it could easily be washed off the car. Because this happened right after the situation with Nova, many people believe this was an attempt by the Prince family to make people feel bad for them, even though they were in the wrong. Another controversy occurred later that same year. In a video from September 2019, Bianca decided to pick up Damien in an Uber while wearing a disguise. And when she showed herself on camera, she admitted her skin is darker because of the makeup and said she wants to make sure she doesn't look the same at all. You guys can probably tell my chest, my arms, my neck is a different color than my face right now because I am going to be darker than my normal color because I got to look totally different. She then described the type of look she was trying to achieve. I'm about to be a, um, a ghetto girl. I gotta, I gotta learn how to talk. How can I talk? and spoke with a different accent. My name is Bibi Shaquita. So yeah, uh, <coughs> where are you going today? Some commenters commented on her disguise. Team Bianca, best disguise. You disguise way better than all these other YouTubers. She looks good, light or dark, wow. Others weren't happy with her portrayal. Why would you think it was okay to do this? Why you choose that though? The disrespect disgusts me. Bianca did another video with similar themes in August 2020 when she did a prank on Damien where she acted ratchet. In the video, she kept the same mannerisms she had when playing the Uber driver. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. You ready? Wait. You need some gum? No, like, why are you talking like that? Like what? Damien also spoke poorly of the character she was portraying, calling her ratchet and annoying. Colorism is a big problem in many marginalized communities. It's deeply rooted in many aspects of our lives. This one shining a light on bias around skin tones, not among different ethnic groups, but within the same communities of color. Colorism. Started with this whole idea that the darker you are, the less human you are. Caitlin Greenwich, a black woman who wrote an article for The Guardian, spoke about the different ways she noticed colorism in her life and how she was taught to love her darker skin tone as a child, but still struggled when dealing with colorism. She said dark-skinned women are less likely to be married, receive different pay rates, given longer prison sentences, and are three times more likely to be suspended from school than light-skinned peers. She also said dark-skinned people report higher experiences of microaggressions, report more psychological deterioration, and worse health than lighter-skinned women. According to a 2006 University of Georgia study, employers prefer light-skinned black men to dark-skinned men, regardless of their qualifications. While there is a history of people darkening their skin in offensive ways for comedic purposes, these depictions are now considered derogatory towards black people because its history is rooted in racism. Bianca most likely didn't understand the gravity of what she did, but her actions reinforced negative stereotypes. And that's not all. What's the worst thing a family vlogger could do? The Prince family was back in the drama sphere when they clickbaited giving up two of their children for adoption. In 2019, the Prince family uploaded a video that said, giving Kyrie up for adoption. In the thumbnail for the video, we can see what looks like Bianca and Damien crying next to adoption papers for their three-year-old son, Kyrie. However, when you watch the video, it's a fun vlog celebrating Kyrie's birthday. There's no mention of putting up Kyrie for adoption in the video, but some have left comments talking about giving him up. That it's stupid to give your son away. If you don't want this done in real life, do not make or write titles like this. Me, sees video, cries for Kyrie, scrolls through comment. Oh, he's safe, yay. It's unclear if there was footage included in the video which could have been removed with YouTube's trim feature. In another now deleted video, they clickbaited a prank where Damien pranked Bianca into thinking Nova was being taken away by child services. Damien pranked Bianca by asking a friend to act as a child services worker who would take Nova away. At first, Bianca seemed suspicious, but quickly got upset when the worker wouldn't give her Nova. My daughter is 
hungry. You gotta don't touch. touch me. You gotta pack her back. Don't touch me. Why are you upset? You even know why is he here? She has the baby. We have the baby. Baby, baby. Give me my daughter, baby. Bianca understandably cried when they refused to give Nova to her. She even called her mom, who told her to call the police. Once Damien told her it was a prank, she took Nova away from him and did something every married couple is afraid of. Bro, she's beautiful. Thank you, man. Here, here you go. Here you go, here you go the ring, though. Babe, we not giving Nova up for adoption. It was a prank. Where are you going? You don't do that. What I do? What I do? It was a prank. You don't play like that. What I? It was a prank. I do everything, everything in my power to make sure these kids are straight. You cannot play like that. You can't. These kids are my world. Like you can't do that to me. While this prank may be a great lesson for others to not prank their loved ones, it was still a very harmful position to put Bianca and Nova in. Giving up a child for adoption isn't an easy decision for families to make. A lot of the time, it's not because they don't feel love for the child, but because of circumstances such as money, housing issues, or being too young to cope with the responsibilities of parenting. The children going to adoption centers also have it tough, and often develop symptoms such as loss, rejection, and grief, and can struggle with their self-identity. In another now-deleted video, the couple claims CPS almost took their children from them. They spoke about the alleged event over a seafood boil mukbang, seeming to make the topic appear less devastating than it really is. Adoption and CPS pranks aren't the only family-related controversies this family has gotten themselves into. The Prince family has also come under fire for their strange obsession with making videos about family members having romantic relationships with other family members. In a video from 2019, Bianca and her sister Alexis catfished Damien, allowing Alexis to flirt with Damien as a prank. Damien played into the situation, claiming he's always liked Alexis. He takes a long <laughs> time, so he must be thinking out this message long, hard, and clear. We don't have all day to sit here. Paragraph? I actually wanted you in the beginning, but I was already with Bianca, plus we had kids. How did you already want her, but yet you met her through me? Damien claimed he wanted to run away with Alexis, causing Bianca to get mad. In a second, I'm about to get my hands and search his location and see where he at. Together. My kids ain't going with you! Because at that point, Alexis is cut the f off and you're cut the f off and neither one of y'all will see my kids ever again. Period. Damien asked Alexis inappropriate questions about being intimate. When the two sisters had enough, they confronted Damien, to which he said he knew it was a prank and was just going along with it. This video once again touches on lack of trust in a relationship, but this time, family was involved. Even though Alexis and Damien aren't related by blood, it's still a very inappropriate pairing, as it could ruin family dynamics and be considered betrayal within the family. Alexis made an appearance in the Prince family videos again when they uploaded the video Caught in the Shower Prank with Twin Sisters. In the video, Bianca, Alexis, and Damien's dad pulled a prank on Damien by pretending the three of them were being intimate in the shower. As Damien caught them, he got upset and started fighting with his father. Even after they reveal it was a prank, Damien was still upset. It's a prank! Damien, look at the camera! Damien! Let's go! It's wet in here! Come on, it's wet in here, let's go! This was an unusual prank to pull that once again would be considered betrayal within the family. Romantic or intimate relationships are not meant to be had between family members. In the US, some states have rulings that make it illegal to have these kinds of relationships. In some cases, having relations with a family member can land someone a prison sentence anywhere from five years to life. In addition to prison time, it can also require someone to register as an offender depending on the circumstances. It's quite clear that initiating an intimate relationship within the family can ruin the family dynamic for good. Their content is never ending, with over a thousand videos on their channel, each one continuing to raise the same concerns surrounding DV, their children, health issues, and more. Many content creators have criticized the Prince family for their inappropriate, toxic, and insensitive behavior. This is for me when it gets too much. You should be so deeply ashamed of what you're doing. It never made any sense to me. They become so clearly played out and fake. Please leave the kids out of it. The morals go out of the door and they literally just care about 
clicks and views. But their channel isn't going anywhere, with a projection to reach 10 million subscribers in another year. Eventually, as years pass by, their young viewers will become old enough to process how horrific some of these pranks and challenges were. Until then, the Prince family lives on in their own wicked world. Don't forget to check out Two Dots by clicking the link in the description below. Join the Two Dots community for fun games to challenge your mind.